to a new vlog video. So I've just got to another stories and it's super busy in here. So I'm just gonna vlog this fitting room session. I've been in London today for some other events. I was in London yesterday as well. So it's been a busy week of events. So this is my outfit for today. I'm wearing this new silk blazer from h &M, which I picked up from the showroom last week. It looks so nice. I've just styled it with my leather trousers and my loafers. I like how it sort of like tapers in. It has this really cool edge, but of course I found some lovely pieces in another stories to try on so I thought I'd do a little try on for you guys. Honestly so much nice knitwear in store so yeah very excited to try all these bits on. So first of all is this jacket. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit more cropped in the body. I thought it was going to be more of like a tie waist but I feel like it's a little bit too long. It's a really nice sort of short coat. It's reversible wool and it's also really thin as well. Love this cream collab but I just wish it was a little bit shorter in the body. Next is this jumper, how gorgeous is the collar? It's a little bit scratchy, but I really like how the neck sits, it's not like too high. I find that sometimes these turtle necks can either sit too high, or they just sit really weird on me, but this one actually sits really nice. But this is a size medium, I did size up on this because it's more of like a boxy style fit. But I really love this collar, and yeah, it looks so nice on. is this cardigan. So this has actually been on my wish list for quite a while. Um, I love it on but I just find that the underneath bit here like sits like really frumpy so it sort of folds on the inside so I'm not sure if I'm actually feeling it on me. I'm so good because it's actually been on my wish list for ages. I just love the interest of the buttons here. Looks so nice but unfortunately it's just this little bit just sits a little bit weird for me. is this but I feel like I wish it was a little bit more oversized and I feel like this little collar makes it look a bit like a granny um, especially with, with these little pockets as well um, the pockets look really cute but yeah I just feel like it looks a little bit weird on me um, I think I would need to size up as well in this I just thought it could be more like an oversized boxy fit but it is a bit more fitted this other beige jumper so I really like this the sleeves are really nice also super soft it's not itchy at all my skin is so sensitive with like fluffy knits and whatnot but this isn't itchy at all it's really soft and a really nice length as well I think I oversized in this as well to a size medium and um, it's not like too thick so it's like an in-between like a lighter and a thicker knit to be nice to style with coats over the top um, but yeah this color is gorgeous is this grey coat and how gorgeous is this on? It's like a lightweight wool so it's not like too thick. I love these style coats because they're just so easy to throw on. They're also like not too thick either, especially with this in-between weather at the moment. I want to get all my coats out but it's just really mild for October. Um, I love the pockets on it. also has this tie belt. I'm wearing the size small here. It is a oversized fit but again perfect length on me. this little tweed jacket so I sort of wish that it was a bit shorter in the body I feel like it's a bit too long I really like these style jackets at the moment they're very on trend very like Parisian and very minimal but I wish that it sort of came to here as it is a bit longer length but I really like the buttons I'm not sure if you can see on the camera but the texture of the fabric is really nice it has these little pocket details on as well but yeah I just wish it was a little bit shorter on me I'm back home now after two very busy days in London. I always find it super hard to pick up the camera and vlog and talk in between because I'm honestly just running around the city all day. Also, I usually avoid London like the plague when it's half term, but I had like two events which got rescheduled from Fashion Week to this week. So of course I went down. They were also doing like alterations to the train route. So I think I spent around six hours on trains the last two days. Couldn't really get any work done because the Wi-Fi is rubbish. Um, so yeah, I feel like I spent most of the time traveling and then running around 
going backwards and forwards but I'm back home I've just filmed a little tutorial on how I do my slick bun it's very slick today I'll probably see it uploaded on my YouTube shorts I'm also wearing a new jumper yes I know I have such a bad problem when it comes to stripes such stripes are my weakness and I just love this thick chunky one of course it's from H&M I'm also wearing a more of like a ready lip today it's by Charlotte Tilbury I think it's called shade hold on let me find it yeah so it's the shade glowing gen by Charlotte Tilbury it's a really nice color it's not like too red it's like more like a pinky sort of nude with a touch of red into it it's a really really nice color especially for autumn and then I'm just wearing the um, Hourglass Phantom Limp Balm in the shade Rouge over the top. I'm honestly so addicted to those. They are so good. Um, but yeah, that's my lip combo. Hugo's just down there having a little sunbathe, just staring at me. I think I mentioned in my last vlog that we were going to try acupuncture for him. Well, we tried two sessions. The first one, he was fine. He didn't really know what was coming and he was sort of like really relaxed, but then he did have some sore spots, especially at the front of his legs where he can't bend because the muscles are so constricted. Like it it was really really sore for him so she was like we'll use the really fine needles next time which she uses on like cats and stuff um so that was fine and then today we took him back and he knew what was coming like he literally i think because he, he had that little bit of pain the first time obviously it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for him in areas where he does have extra tightness and that's what we we're going to have the acupuncture for just to help with any pain relief in his lower back and his legs um but he knew what was coming we got a couple of like needles in in his back and whatnot but then even getting near his legs he was like no go away i don't want it so we were like no so yeah we thought we'd try it for him see how he get on the vet was like he's a really happy dog um um, it's not phase him at all that he can't really bend his back legs he's a very very happy bubbly dog so that's what's important to us like we thought we'd try the acupuncture to see if we could give him some pain relief and see how he tolerated but he was like no i'm not having it so he's having a little sunbathe now wherever there is the slightest bit of sun hugo will be lying he was lying downstairs in the kitchen but he wanted to come upstairs to see me so he's lying in this little sun spot now so let me put you guys in the usual little spot so i thought i'd quickly show you what i picked up from london you're gonna come and say hello yeah. i've got hair brushes and combs on the floor so he's literally like yeah he loves a hairbrush so yeah i thought i'd quickly show you what i picked up from another story you're gonna come and say hello come on i know mommy's got a new jumper on <laughs> Mummy's got a new jumper on, I know. Is it mummy, another striped jumper. It doesn't smell of anything. Why are you sleeping? So I quickly went into H&M as well after my and other stories appointment. Come and sit here then. I know you're scratching me. Come and sit in the middle. Come and sit in the middle, me. Sorry, guys. He literally just wants to... Come and sit here. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. No. Nope. Oh. He's going at the camera off instead. Bloody hell, Hugo, you're so clumsy. He's too busy trying to get the hairbrush down there. But anyway, take three. This is what I got from H&M. So, first of all, this jumper is new. I got it, I think, last week. Um, so we'll link it down below for you. I also picked up this other gorgeous knit, which I thought would be so nice to style in the festive season. I just love the tassels on the bottom. Hugo, you're going to knock the camera off again. Um, I thought I'd style it with a nice like slip skirt and whatnot, but I got this in a size small. It had sold out online, but I just love the tassels on the bottom. And then I know you guys absolutely love it when I find good dupes, but I shared this on my Instagram. It still hasn't dropped online yet. I don't know why, but I will link it down below for you in the description. Hugo, leave the combs. He's literally just scratching the hairbrushes. Um, but I managed to find this, which I thought was an amazing dupe. I mean, H&M are absolutely, oh my God, it's absolutely, he's in the bag now. Hugo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go. No. What are you doing? It's going to scare you. Yes, it's going to scare you. Careful. There we go. You finished? Are you finished? There we go, we're finished now. Completely, you've completely thrown me off my what I was saying. Yeah, you have. Is it your line by the side of my stuff? Don't knock the camera off again, please. Please be careful. So yeah, this is the new Jeep. I feel like it's very like Chanel inspired, like with this quilting and the chain as well. Like imagine if it actually had like a little like turny clasp when it had like the curve. Be such a good Jeep, but I mean, it looks so expensive. I also paid $29.99 for this. A bit more expensive than their other Jeeps, which were around the $22.99 mark. But I think because they know that they sell so quickly, they're just going to bump the prices up. But I really like the sort of detail on here um so it can sit on the shoulder 
and then you could also style it like crossbody as well but i just think it'd be so nice to like dress up as like an evening bag so they can see it a little bit better now just wearing my famous super soft amazon leggings with this jumper but yeah make sure you add it to your favorites because i don't know why it still hasn't dropped online i think it has in certain countries but yeah another great dupe and then i just got a couple of bits from and other stories so first of all i picked up these earrings i thought they'd be so nice for the party season how lovely are they i love and other stories for their jewelry i wear my gold like hoops with the pearls all the time i just love the quality of their jewelry and they last for so long but i thought these were really nice very simple and elegant to wear for the festive season they also had so much nice knitwear as well in store but i ended up picking up a coat so in my last vlog i had a new gray coat which was from warehouse and i picked it up i think it was in a size 10 the pr team kindly sent it but unfortunately it's like too like tight on my shoulders i don't know why it sort of sits quite structured here um, and you guys know I like to really layer underneath my coat so maybe I should have sized up to a size 12 so I'm going to see if I can return it but I spotted this coat and oh my god guys this is like more of an oversized fit I just really love a lightweight style wool coat so it has a belt detail here this nice big lapel and also the shoulders sit a lot more wider and longer um, so I think the warehouse one was a little bit more fitted so I picked this one up in a size small which is my usual size it is a oversized fit but I would recommend just saying like true to size because you want to layer underneath like with your jumpers so, like there's no point sizing down in a coat when you want to layer underneath I've made that mistake in the past I've bought oversized coats in a size 8 instead of a 10 or an extra small instead of a small and then it's been like too tight on my arms I can't layer underneath and I just feel like that extra oversized feel just makes it a bit more comfortable to wear everything like moves nice underneath as well there's nothing worse than being like really restricted with all your layers underneath your outerwear um, but yeah I got this one in a size small amazing quality it's nice and long as well with tie belt detail so I'm going to see if I can return the warehouse one but yeah super chuffed with this I also have a new Farfetch code to share with you so I picked up this gorgeous scarf which is by Totem I'm absolutely obsessed with it I've been loving a styling grey right now and how nice will this look with my new and other stories wool coat too so I love as well that it's reversible so it has this lighter shade it's also like dark on the back here and I also caved and got the Frankish Shop be a blazer so i've been after this style blazer for ages i thought i'd get the black classic one because it's just so nice and so timeless so i got it in a size small but it is a very like oversized fit so i'll pop a picture on the right hand side with the blazer on so you guys see what it looks like as well as the scarf as well but they do it in different colors i love it in the dark beige also seen it in gray as well but i thought i'd get the black one i thought it'd be nice to like dress up but also like to belt as well i just love a classic black blazer and the quality is really nice on this as well I've I've also had some new bits arrive from Amazon so I did share on my Instagram stories that I'd basically ordered some new like Amazon home bits for the new house like new glassware new storage stuff so I thought I'd do an unboxing over here and share with you guys because you wanted to see it honestly at the moment I am so obsessed with like Amazon home finds on TikTok and also like organization like fridge organization I don't know if any of you have seen that video with the ice cubes like there's a fridge that's got like how many different ice cubes like she's organizing a fridge she has like ball ice cubes like flower ones like cola ones honestly it's insane i've literally watched it about four times um so i just love watching videos like that on tiktok so i'm just so excited to get in the new house and just start organizing all my new cupboards and new space it's just all very very exciting so i thought i'd take you downstairs show you what i picked up from amazon home i've also ordered some new like pajama bits as well from amazon as well as a new pair of my favorite leggings they're honestly super soft so you're going to show everybody downstairs you're going to behave yeah. you're being very cheeky aren't you you be very cheeky. You can let mummy's lipstick off. It won't taste nice though. Okay, so I literally have two big boxes of bits from Amazon. Um, so the fashion bits that I've got in here, I've got some really nice pajamas. I love Amazon Fashion for their pajamas. They're honestly so soft. I don't know if you can see me properly. The sun is literally blaring right in. Hugo's just under the table having a snort. But I picked these up in black, but also grey as well. So really lovely quality. They're super soft. Um, just a long sleeve plain pyjama. And then these are the matching bottoms. And then these are them in the grey shade as well. And then I also picked up these ballet flats. So these are by Clarks, which are on Amazon. I literally find so much good stuff 
on Amazon. So I wanted a pair of like black ballet flats with the little like bow on the front. Can you just see? Because I've been wearing my Marks and Spencers one loads, and I thought the quality as well from Clark's will be really nice. So they are the black ballet flats. And then I also picked up this belt as well, which is a really good dupe for my Isabel Morant belt. So I have the tan one in the Isabel Morant and I saw this and I thought, okay, this is gonna be such a good dupe. They also said it in brown as well. So I'm gonna just quickly whack this around my waist so you can see. So I think it ties very similar to my Isabel Morant one. So it just goes in there and then you literally just tie it like that. You can sort of see on the stripe. But honestly, that literally looks exactly the same as my Isabel Morant one. So I'll link this black one, but I'll also link the brown one as well. And the leather is like really, really soft. So yeah, chuffed with that one. Face halos to remove my makeup with. They're like a sort of like sponge. They're honestly so soft. The only things I ever use to take off my makeup. And then house stuff, I literally got this um, little like board. So I thought it'd be really nice to get this for the new house. Especially like for like new year and stuff. So it's basically a little cheese board where you can put like cheese on there, meat. I'll put a little picture on here actually, just so you can see. I'm not gonna unravel the packaging because I wanna keep it all in the box ready for the new house, but I just thought it'd be so nice for like new year. I absolutely love a good cheese board during Christmas. So I thought that would be nice for the festive season. I'm gonna sit down because bending over like that, it's really hurting my back. <laughs> And what else do we have? So I got some glassware as well from Amazon. So these are like sort of like little tumbler glasses. I bought the bigger um, size as well. I sort of like these glasses for like juices and whatnot. So these are the little glasses. I thought they'd be really nice. I really like the aesthetic of them. So there's six of those. I'm literally just gonna keep all this stuff safe in this box ready for the new house there's no point me on packaging it into this house then repack it again and then i've got these as well i think these are yeah these are super cute i saw these on tiktok and they're basically like a little cork glass jar with a cork lid with a little spoon on i thought they'd be so cute for like you know when you sort of have like your hot chocolates you can just put like some marshmallows in there, but also for coffee and whatnot. Or even like if you do granola and all your little bits, you can just pop in a little jar like that, a little spoon on the side. So I got three of those, they come as a little three set. And then what's in here? I think these are more, more glasses. These are just literally plain tall glasses like that, which are really nice. And then I also picked up this little bamboo like salad bowl, which is really nice. This is the, little spatulas and the spoon and then the bowl is just like that just thought it's really nice very aesthetic so in this one is a taller version of the cork um little mini jars that i just showed you again saw these on tiktok so they come in three i'm going to angle this and try not to drop them so they come in a little three set like this so there's like a bigger size and then the medium and the small and then a really small one. And they have these little cork ball lids. Hugo's looking at me thinking that that's a ball. Just had to move you because Hugo's just walked through the extension lever and my camera was on charge and just pulled my camera off the side. Luckily, it's okay and we've got rugs on the floor. It's not a hard floor. <laughs> Panic over. So this is a closer look at the jar. So it's just like this and it looks so aesthetic and really cute as well. Then these are some of my food storage things. So these are for like cans and stuff. Russ always loves a can of pop. So I wanted to have like some cans. It's just organized near for the new fridge. We thought I could put them in our fridge now. I thought it was nice to sort of, you just lie them on their side. They just roll out. So there's two of those. Also a really heavy one. I think these are the other plastic organizers. So this one was part of like a set. It's like different sizes all in here with different lids. It's all like compact to, together. Yeah, then in this one, you can just see there's loads of like little smaller organizers inside. I'm absolutely roasting after doing that now. It's literally so mild for October. Like when I was in London, it was like 20 degrees and I was wearing other trousers. It was so warm. You wouldn't think that it was literally in November next week. So yeah, all those Amazon bits are linked down below for you in the description box. I'm not sure if I've told you guys on here. 
I have on Instagram, but I actually have my own Amazon storefront now, which is really exciting. So it's just like a little commission affiliate thing with Amazon. It's the same as my LTK, but it's literally on Amazon. So I've literally got loads of folders. I've got like my fashion finds on there, my home finds, beauty. There's lots of little bits that I always find on Amazon, like home bits as well, like sort of appliances. So it's basically where all my wish lists are. So yeah, if you ever want to have a nosy what's on Amazon, then I've grouped like all my favorite bits that I've been shopping from and having my basket myself. So I'll link that down below for you as well. So I'm actually gonna go and pop and go to Tesco to get some bits for the weekend because I feel like we haven't got any food or any like snacky bits. I also want to get my hotel chocolate velvetizer back out. It's been in the cupboard. We've got loads of milk that needs using. So I said to Russ, I'm gonna go and get some marshmallows, get some squirty cream and start getting the velvetizer back out. So I think Russ's on the way home from work now. And then Hugo's just, of course, having a little sunbathe. Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know What is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, yeah. Back and forth Through dark roast coffee Salt mist and sea Goodbye to someone.